Dave, good to see you. So, um, strong quarter, which we've been used to seeing from you guys lately, but what really caught my eye, the 2,000 net new customers in Q4, more than 100 of which uh, are spending at 100,000 plus uh, annualized recurring revenue uh, kind of run rate. The, the big customers, what, what's driving their activity with you? Thanks, John. It's nice to be here. Um, first of all, I would tell you that um, what customers are basically indicating is that they view MongoDB as an increasingly strategic platform. You talked about six-figure customers. Our seven-figure customer count grew nearly by 70% also year over year. So people really view MongoDB as a truly strategic platform to drive their innovation agenda and build applications that transform their business. So uh, even given that, how much time are you and the management team spending thinking about Europe right now, either direct exposure to companies that have a lot of their business there or companies based there, uh, as we're uh, increasingly hearing concerns about economic slowdown because of the war in Ukraine? Yeah, first of all, my thoughts are with the people of Ukraine. It's a really tragic situation. From a business point of view, our exposure is quite minimal. We have uh, in the low single-digit millions of revenue coming out of Russia for a billion dollar business, that's not really material, but uh, we're trying to do our part to um, uh, contribute to helping the people of Ukraine, but there's no real business impact and we're not seeing any impact on our forecasts from Europe. David Steerdre, I want to ask you about return to office plans. You said previously that you made it clear the expectation is that employees will return to their offices. Your headquarters is in New York. You've got offices all over the place, including not far from here in San Francisco. Are you seeing a difference in, willing, in employees' willingness or desire to come back based on where offices are versus New York versus a San Francisco, for example? Yeah, we definitely we believe the world will never come back to the pre-COVID days of everyone being in the office five days a week. But we believe a hybrid world does matter, it does, is the most effective way to run the business. So there's some employees who will be in the office five days a week. There's some employees who will always be remote. But most employees will have the flexibility to be in the office two to three days a week. Uh, we think that face-to-face -face connection, the ability to form uh, the relationships, the, to be deeply more, more deeply connected to our mission, our purpose, um, those things really matter, and those face-to-face -face interactions really matter. So we create a hybrid environment. We're planning to um, come back on April 4th. Obviously, pending, hopefully, conditions continue to open up. But we believe that's the world of the future, and our goal is to attract and retain the best people in the industry, and you have to give them a choice. Dave, can you give us some granularity on how you're able to drive the, the revenue uh, momentum that you are a kind of component of the workforce wise. What have you been doing in sales and marketing hiring over the past couple of years? What are you planning to continue to invest in that, that allows that to happen? And, and what besides, I guess, on the labor side is enabling that that you're also investing in? Yeah, so first of all, I just want to say that we just crossed the one billion dollar revenue threshold as a company. There's not many companies who have reached that threshold. Uh, and that's over five years. Five years ago, we were a $100 million business. Um, <clears throat> second, I would say that our business is accelerating through this. A year ago, our business was growing 38% year over year. Now it's growing 56% year over year. And Atlas is growing 85% year over year. And that's a north of a $600 million revenue business. And the reason we're seeing these results, John, is that we believe marrying a great product with a great distribution is, is how you have to run a B2B business. And so we, as much thought as we put into our product, our platform, and all the innovation we do there, we put just as much thought in terms of how we go to market. We have a very sophisticated go-to-market approach. We have direct salespeople at the high end. We have an inside sales organization at the, for small and medium-sized customers. And then we have a self-service business. And on top of that, we have a partner channel. This is a massive market, so you have to meet customers where they are. And so you, know, you can't just take a one-size-fits-all approach. And that's really paid dividends. Our productivity rates are incredibly high. We're seeing broad-based uh, uh, performance across every geo and every industry. And so we feel really good about the opportunity. So we're in investing heavily for growth. 